I don't think I want to go out tonight. They weren't lying when they said they were going to take my missed child support payment and then tack it on to the next one. So my bank account, it's, it's going to see zero and then it's going to say bye and it's going to just keep going down. You know, I, I have noticed that you've been a little distant. You've been different lately. So I, I know you're struggling, but are you okay? Like I said, Chelsea, you know, I'm trying to be the best boyfriend to you that I can, and I'm trying not to drink and all that, but um, it's like a vice grip. That's the, the best analogy I can keep giving you. It just feels like I'm in a vice grip. But what happened to my suggestion of trying to find a job off the books so you could have some extra pocket money. I've been trying, but I, I want to do more um, construction and, and all these other part-time jobs pay nothing or they're on the books and the market is just hard, you know? I also, why should I have to work 24 seven just to survive while my wife is thriving, you know? It's not fair. And then I go see my son and it's from a distance, and, and again, that still just kills me. I get it, but things like this, something always comes along, something always changes, and maybe your wife will realize down the line that you're like really struggling here and you can't financially do this. You know what's also really pissing me the hell off? It's just that Miranda got that promotion and she was so smug with posting it online because I knew she was throwing it my way because every week she gets the child support money and I know she's just buying whatever. She's buying Chanel bags, doing her toes, and, and here I am freaking looking up what I can buy with food stamps. Um, but like on a deeper level, like why does that bother you so much? I guess it's also, I don't want her making more than me. You know, like she, she already took my son she beat me in court, and then she made me a divorced man. Isn't it crazy that like one party in the divorce never has a say in it, and now I'm just, I have that label. I didn't want to be a divorced man, no offense, I love being with you and I love you, but I did not want to be a divorced man. There's still a stigma with that in 2024, and she took that from me. And now on top of that, she makes more than me doing what, editing, a head editor, what the, like, I'm, I'm sweaty all day, dude. Sweaty. Like, I, I can't, I can't wear the same underwear twice. I'm sweaty. Okay, and remember, I'm not judging you or anything, but how do you even know she's making more than you? Do you know she's making more than you for sure? I don't know. Well, she told me she made more than me, and that was before she got the per- I gotta look it up. Yeah, yeah, it was a bank account that I shared with my wife. I just wanted to... Right, right, yeah, she has access to it now. I'm no longer on it, but I would just... I need to get into it um, to check something. So, yeah, I can give you my social. I can give you... Nah, I can't really... Um, I don't have contact with her. So, um, you know, it used to be my account, right? So I should have, you know, in a perfect world... You're the bank, you, you could probably just let me in real quick. I just want to see what is being deposited. So even though it used to be my account, right? Um, that, that don't mean nothing. I know you've told me the answer a million times, but I just need to hear it again. You don't look at me funny because my, my ex-wife makes more than me. And you know, I can't always take you to dinner and stuff. I told you before. I don't care about what's in your pockets. I'm with you for you. But I also don't care that she makes more than you because I know how she got there. I know 100% she probably slept her way to the top. You know, as bad as my life is right now and you know how like, like I'm the victim in this situation, um, I feel like I'm on the precipice of falling into good fortune. I feel like something good's coming my way. I also wonder how her macho, aggressive, toxic boyfriend deals with her making more than him. Because I'm sure she does. 
So that's what I'm making after taxes. Like, I can't believe this promotion. Wow, Miranda. Can't put into words how proud of you I am. Like, it's just attractive that you can make more money than me just using your brain. And it's super attractive to me that you're working full time during your high risk pregnancy, taking care of your son by yourself. It's amazing. Thank you for appreciating me, Brian. I really appreciate it. So do you like it? it? Took me forever to look through reviews and find the best one. There's so many different types of Dopplers. Miranda, you know I'm trying to be supportive and I try to give you everything that I can for as a shoulder to lean on, but every time the baby does a kick or something or it goes a long time, you freak out. You know what I mean? And I, I can only deal with that so much. You know, I can't be run into the emergency room every five minutes, especially when it's nothing. You know, if you Google it, the baby's not gonna kick every hour. You know what I mean? So I, I just want you to calm down. You know, I don't, I don't got like money for like a Doppler or something. You, got, you have a months of this. So let's try to find a way where you can like cope with it and not drive yourself crazy because no offense, you're driving me a little crazy. I really appreciate you doing this for me, Brian, and always being considerate in my pregnancy. I really enjoy the fact that you're always trying to quell my nerves. Why do I sense that there's a but to that? I get why you got it for me, and for most people, hearing the heartbeat, it's enough to, to help them sleep at night. But me? Um, I'm going to do it every five seconds, and the second that I don't hear the heartbeat, I'm going to need to go to the emergency room. So having it in the house, it's going to drive me crazy. Damn. Should have realized that. I completely understand where you're coming from. I take no offense to you not wanting to use it. I get it. No, it's not your fault at all. That's my problem. And... It really is the thought that counts. I really appreciate it. Believe me.